Hey crock posse, Aunt Lou here, and today we are gonna be making crock pot seasoned pork chops. Oh, while having a whole lot of fun. It's so yummy. You're gonna love it. Hey crock posse, welcome back to my outdoor kitchen at Camp Ludacris. Today we are going to be making crock pot seasoned pork chops. This is super simple. And you may, if you've seen the recipe before, or if you've done it before, you may be saying, why does she have a six quart crock pot whenever the recipe calls for a four quart crock pot? Well, today I'm feeding the crowd. So I'm making a double batch of these. So I'll be talking you through how to make a double batch and how to make a single batch. So what you're going to do, whether you um, do a double or a single, you're going to first put your pork chops in, um, a four quart crock pot if you're only doing a pound and a half if you're doing three pounds you'll put it in a six quart crock pot you will also need Old Bay garlic powder and melted butter and so what I'm going to do I've already melted um, a cup of butter for my three pounds of pork chops and they're boneless pork chops and now I'm just going to add in my seasonings um, so this is like a super simple super quick recipe. So since I am doing a double batch, I'm going to use two teaspoons. If you are doing a single batch, you will use one teaspoon to one stick of butter. I have two sticks of butter and I'm going to use two teaspoons. And this does not fit in here. So let's use the other little lid part and we'll pour it in. Okay, maybe not wanting to come out. Oop, there it came out. Now it's coming. So there's one. And two. And we're gonna do the same thing with the garlic powder. If you are making a single batch, you will use one teaspoon of garlic powder. If you are making a double batch, you will use two teaspoons. One. And two. Easy peasy. Now we're just gonna stir that up and then we'll pour it over top and then we're ready to cover and cook. So easy, love it. So we're gonna stir this up, get it all nice and blended together. And this, um, this measuring cup bowl is way overkill. You do not need one this big. This is just the one that I happen to have in my camper. So we are going to take that and pour it. Oh my goodness, it smells amazing. So we're going to pour that all over and get all those seasonings out. That's why I'm using a stirring spatula. Um, Oh my goodness, this smells amazing and it looks amazing. Yay! So, we're going to cover and cook on low for three to four hours or high for an hour and a half to two hours. And we will be back in three, two, and we're back. And so, it's been about three and a half, four hours and these smell amazing. Now, if you're making a regular batch, I, I never had to stir them whenever I made a reg, regular batch, but um, with this double batch, um, I kind of did a top to bottom kind of thing with them so that they were all down in the juices really well and um, got nice and tender. So let's take a look at this. Can you see it? Look, I already checked it and it is pork tender and you see all those yummy juices with the seasonings yum let's get a bite wait center up right okay mm. it is literally fall apart in your mouth tender and it's got these savory flavors and it's just so yummy you're gonna love it so if you like this video give it a thumbs up 
If you have not already become a member of our Croc Posse family, why not? Join us. Hit the subscribe button down below. And if you'd like to know every single time we post a video, hit the button called the ding a -ling. And no matter what you do, laugh often, eat good food, and speak life. Bye! If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon.